بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم. So now we're going to start the book review. As I said to you before, what we're going to do is that not looking at text, just look at what the concepts are in the book. We can discuss those first. So what we can discuss in here now is the we have the awamil, okay? And we discussed last time that the awamil has three babs, correct? What are three babs? Go ahead. Amil. Arab. So Amil, Ma'mul and Arab. So we can just leave the Ma'mul and the Arab for now. Just looking at Amil. Okay? Just Correct? Yeah. Now yeah. within the Amil, Finally, you have two types of Amil. Yeah. One called Lovely and one called Ma'nawi. Yeah. And within the Lovely, you have Sama'i and you have Qiyasi. This word is pronounced Sama'i, not Sima'i. The Sina has a Fatha on it. Some people pronounce it with a Kasra, Sima'i. That's not correct. Okay? Now, what are these terminologies? Let me explain them to you. Love, what does love mean? An utterance, a pronunciation, something you say from your mouth. So, love means that this amil can be seen. For example, when we say the word fil masjidi, what state is masjid in? Majroor state, mahfuz state. Now, why is it majroor? Because of fi. So, we can actually see. That the word fi is an amil. Fi is causing the masjid to become majroor. And this, this is majroor by a word we can actually see. It's there in written in writing. So you say this is, this is love. This amil is lovely. So the masjid is majroor. The masjid is ma'mul. It's in a majroor state. This amil is fi. And it's a lovely amil. You can actually see it there in writing. And most of them are like this. Correct? Make sense? Watch out. Inna Allah hakimun. Now, Inna has made Allah Zul Jalala what state? Mansub. And Hakim in what state? Marfu. So now what we have here, that we can say that the Amil of Love Zul Jalala and the, love, and the Hakim is what? Inna. Can we see Inna? So it's a, it's a lovely. Kana Allahu Aliman Hakima. Kana has made Love Zul Jalala Marfu and has made Aliman and Hakiman Mansub. We can see Kana. So we say kana is what? An amil. What kind of amil is it? Yeah. Lovely. Do you understand the concept of lovely? Yes. Now what happens is, there are certain words or certain places where the word is marfu'ah. But there's nothing to say what made it marfu'ah. You get the problem? So what do we say now? That this amil is abstract. It's a concept. There's no word to make it marfu'ah. We just assume it to be marfu'ah because of something. And this thing can't be seen. So this is a ma'nawi amil. Does that make sense? For example, Muhammadun Rasulullah. What made Muhammad is mubtada? It's marfu'. But what's the amil that makes mubtada marfu'? So later the nuhat, the ahlul nahwa, when they try to categorize the knowledge or trying to define it, they say, well, you know what we'll do? We'll say that Muhammad is marfu' because it comes at the beginning. We'll say ibtida, being at the beginning is the amil which causes Muhammad to be marfu'. Can you see being at the beginning? It's a concept. So what is this now? Is it lovely or ma'nawi? Ma'nawi. Okay. Similarly, you got a verb. Yaftahu. What state is in? Marfu. What made it marfu? Nothing. We will say not having a harfu nasib or a harfu jazim. Not having a lan or a lam makes it what? Marfu. So not having an amil is the amil. So this is, can you see can you see not having an amil? There's no word that is no amil. So not having an amil is a ma'nawi concept. It's a concept. So that's also a ma'nawi amil. So we say that our amil are lovely, actually they in the word. There's actually a word for it, it's pronounced. Inna kana fi. Or it's a concept, an idea. We call that what? Ma'nawi. You got those two words? The next two words we need to understand is sama'i and qiyasi. What does sama' mean? Sama' means that this is something which we accept by hearing from the Arabs. And there's now no way for us to add anything onto this. Okay? For example, let's go back to something we're more familiar with. Mu'annath. Okay? Now, a mu'annath word, we have, for example, let's say we have the word shamsun, nafsun, uh, Bi'run, Aynun, Narun, Harbun. When we look at these words, 
There, there is no common concept in them which we can say define them as being mu'annas. Okay? Why shabs mu'annas? Okay, the Arabs use that mu'annas. We see it when they, made it, when they do the adjective, when they bring a verb with it, it's mu'annas. But yet there's nothing, there's nothing uniform or universal about shams, harb, nar. Why are they mu'annas? We don't know. We can't pick, pinpoint it. But the Arabs have used them mu'annas, so we have heard them using as mu'annas. It's called sama'. We can't now decide to make our own mu'annas words and say, well, we're going to make, a, we're going to make this word mu'annas. Because this is, lim- this is limited and confined to how we heard the Arabs using it. Make sense? Okay, it's called sama'. And qiyas is, when we see no what? Yes, there are a good set of words. Sayyaratun, sa'atun. These words have a ta at the end. And the Arabs use this as what? Mu'annas. So what we, what's, what's the logic? Any word of a ta at the end becomes what? Mu'annas. A ta al marbuta. So this is what is called qiyasi. It follows a rule and a pattern. Do you understand? So sama'i means it does not follow any pattern. It is, lim- it is how the Arabs have used it. We just have to accept it. So the awam, which are sama'i, are limited. Now the Arabs use this in this way. So now that's it. For example, the huruful mushabbahatun bil fail. How many are they? <coughs> inna six. An, six Inna Anna Ka Anna Lakinna Laitan La Allah For how many centuries have there been six? Nobody ever added one Because you can't Only these six words Make this Isam Mansub And it's Khabar Marfu And it's Sama We can't say well hmm, I know that there's a reason If the word has a Shadda It'll follow the same pattern Or if it has this meaning follow, No These six words behave like this And that's it It's limiting and the other awami like this, which are sama'i, that the Arabs have used it like this, and that's the only way we can use it, no, no way else. Do you understand? Okay? So the limit, you can't make it on the you not You can't do that. The only limit is on the Okay? And what does qiyasi mean? It follows a pattern. So for example, when you have daraba zaidun amran, zaidun is in what state? Marfu and Amr is in what state? Mansub. What makes Amrun Marfu? The fan Daraba. What makes Amrun Mansub? The fan Daraba. When we analyze this, we realize what? It's not to do with Daraba. What's it to do with? The concept of a verb. So any verb, wherever it's found, it will ha- its fa'il will be what? Marfu. So a fa'il is an amil. But what kind of amil? Is it a samai amil? No. It's a qiyasi amil. So even if you have a new verb which doesn't, didn't exist before, what do you do? If you make a new verb, because that happens, they develop new verbs as, a, as, a, as technology expands, as a vocabulary expands, as a culture expands, we need to f- find ways to uh, express ourselves differently. So they add a new word. Now this word wasn't found in the time of Imran al-Qais, and Mutanabbi, and the Sahaba, and the Arabs, early Arabs. But we can make a new word, and it will still make us file marfu. Because the fez and amil, it's a qiyasi amil. Do you understand? So for example, to America. I mentioned to you before, to America means what? To Americanize, to act American. Now obviously this word didn't exist before. So America is a relatively new country. Yeah? So, but because to America is a verb. So, but if you bring a file of it, what will it be? Marfu. Because why? Every file is, a file is an amil qiyasi. Amil qiyasi, you follow the pattern. That the logic is that every file will give us file what? Marfu. If it's fa'il muta'addi, it will give us maf'ul uh, mansub. So this is what you call a amil qiyasi. So going back to the table again, you have amil. What are they? Two types. Lovely and ma'nawi. Lovely are those awamil you can actually see on paper. And ma'nawi are those which don't exist on paper. So well, not on paper, it's on screen. You get the concept. It's not literal. Meaning it's there in writing or typing or whatever. And lovely is either sama'i the limited number, we learn them in the next lesson. Or the qiyasi, they are groups. And anything that falls under a group will apply to that. Whether it's a verb or whatever. So if it's a verb, anything that becomes a verb will have that same rule. Do you understand? So for example, the huruf, the harf, harfun jar. There are a set number of them, about 10 or more, and there's different opinion regarding how many they are. So you can't add to this list. Your fan. You can add to that list. Because it's Qiyasi. Okay? 
So that's how he just he's, has uh, distributed the awamil lafzi, the awamil. So they're either lafzi or ma'nawi, and the lafzi is either sama'i or qiyasi. Okay? You understand? Any questions regarding this? Sure? Right. And next lesson now we're going to start discussing the sama'i and the qiyasi awamil. First the sama'i awamil, then the qiyasi awamil. Yeah? Subhanallah, bihamdi, subhanakallahumma, bihamdi, kamnashad, la ilaha illa anta, wa nasakhfalik, wa natubu ilayk.